So that's why it's very, very important to, you know, qualify them and qualify them hard. So Renee keeps bouncing in and out. You okay there, Renee? You're logged in three times. <clears throat> you make the room look crowded, but it's just you and I. <clears throat> so anyway, so so let's get going on that. So we're going to do the one minute, and then we're going to do the CMA presentation, which is just the next page. So so I'm going to walk through it again real quick, right? And like I said, they know you. They want to hire you. They will list at your price. Now, we only go forward for the signature when we know those three. <clears throat> but if we're going to be doing the CMA presentation, then that means that we're not in agreement on price. So we're going to have to go to the next step, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, you know, you got high thank you got the introduction, you're at the door or inside the door, right? And then um uh you know, do you mind if I take a look at the home? You know, I wrote down three real important questions, and then we go from there, right? So so I'll start off. Um, I'll just say, hi, thanks again for having me over. I'm excited about getting your home on the market and getting it sold. <laughs> Do you mind if um, – hold on a second. My head – my my cord came out of my headset. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So do you mind if I take a quick look at your home? Now, a lot of times they want to show it to you, and, you know, you and I both know you can run through it in 30 seconds <clears throat> where they want to show you everything, how, you know, little Johnny spilled nail polish and they replaced the carpet, that kind of stuff. So, but, you know, they're trying to sell you. When the seller's showing you the home, they're trying to sell you a higher price, right? That's what they're doing. So, uh, so I wrote down three real important questions for you. Number one, do you absolutely have to sell your home? Great or fantastic, okay? <laughs> Number two, will you price your home to sell or do you want to keep it on the market for a long period of time? You want it to sell, great, okay? Number three, do you want me to handle the sale for you? Excellent. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, all we need to do now is simply sign a contract, but we're not going to go for the signature uh, yet, because we know we got to do the pricing presentation, okay? So we go to the next page, and then it says, look, um, Amy, at the end of my presentation tonight, one of three things will happen. One, you'll have the opportunity to, to list your home with me. Or two, you'll decide not to list your home with me. Or three, I'll decide not to take your listing. Anyone is fine. <clears throat> so... So let's quickly take a moment and review the questions I asked you over the phone. So, Amy, you said you were moving to Phoenix, right? Right. And you said you were moving there because of a job? Correct. Okay. And you said you have to be there within three months. Is that correct? Uh, yep. Okay. And so you said you would like to price your home at $450,000, correct? Yes. Okay. And you said you owe about 100000 Is that right? Correct. Okay. Now, you weren't planning on selling it yourself, were you? Um, no. Okay. Terrific. Okay. And you did want your money out. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. We need our money out for the next house. Wonderful. Now, there are only two issues we have to look at tonight. Number one is your motivation to sell this home. And number two is the price we set on your home. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I prepared what we call a comparative market analysis. There are two parts of this research. Part one, we call fantasy land, what homeowners list homes for. Part two, we call reality, what real estate agents list and sell homes for. We're going to have to decide tonight where you're going to spend your time. So the purpose of a comparative market analysis is to determine the value of your home in the eyes of a buyer. Do you know how a buyer determines value? Yeah, just, you know, what they like. Sure. So Exactly. Buyers determine value by comparison shopping. They look at the price of your home based on its features and benefits 
and compares it with the features and benefits of similar homes that have sold recently or are currently on the market. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. So, for example, if you were to purchase, if you were going to purchase a new car, and one dealership had a car for fifty thousand dollars, and another dealership had the same car for forty-five thousand dollars, but it included fancy wheels, an upgraded audio system, and some more, <coughs> which would be more valuable? <coughs> oh, the one for forty-five. Right. So. What if the first dealership put the car that didn't include the fancy wheels and the upgraded audio system on sale for 45000 Which would be more valuable then? Well, the one for forty five that had the extras. Correct. So you could see that if you want to increase value, either A, lower the price, or B, have more features and benefits for the same price. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. Good. So unless you're planning on adding more features and benefits to the home, are you? No, not at this time. No. So then price is the only issue. Can I show you what, what I mean? Certainly. <laughs> so, so then you go through the CMA, and when you go through the CMA with them, <clears throat> make sure you make them do the CMA, meaning, you know, ask them the questions. Stick to the script and learn it and ask them the questions. You know, I don't care if it sounds corny. Do it anyway. Because <clears throat> I don't, you know, if you've been in a business any length of time, you know that the, a, a, a properly priced home is, you know, 90% of your work. So, and then the real skill of getting a home price, you know, it's easier to get it, it's easier to sell when you're as close to the correct price as possible from the beginning. So that way you don't have to go through and spend time beating up the seller after it's been listed, you know, because, and the thing is, there's a thing called chasing the market, you know, and, and what happens if you've been on the market too long, then you adjust the price. Let's say the real price is four and a quarter, and then you start out at 450, then you wait 30 days, then you hit the four and a quarter mark, which is the right price, but now it's been on the market so long that buyers start to think something's wrong with it, and you'll actually wind up netting less money. So because after it's been on the market another 20 days or so, buyers are going to start making offers at 410. And then, you know, so where if you would have just listed at four and a quarter from the beginning, you would have actually gotten a four and a quarter offer because it would have been competitive. <clears throat> so you need to show them the comps. You know, this home is just like yours. You know, how many bedrooms? And you point to the number or have it highlighted in yellow. You know, how many baths? You know, just like yours, right? Yeah. How many square feet? You know, just like yours within 100 feet, whatever. You know, do you know this neighborhood? Yeah. Great. Can you have you seen this house? So you need to go through at least three of these comps. You know, they'll start looking at them. They'll start pulling the papers and start, you know, examining them themselves. So the more time they spend looking at the comps, the more they realize that their price is wrong and they're struggling. So, and it's just a struggle. And that's when you keep your mouth shut, right? Then after they've looked through them, right? So based on the features and benefits of the home, tell them, so either based on, oh, so this one here, so you either tell them your house is better, this house a little better than yours, or this house is very similar, justify, right? So, so, and then ask them, what price are they asking, right? Look how long it's been on the market. You need to be in Phoenix in 90 days, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and then after going through all the comps with them, so then you ask the question, what price do you feel we should use to create value in the eyes of the buyer and get someone to decide to buy your home versus the competition? Amy, now that you've seen these prices, I'm going to recommend a price of 425. Will you, Amy, list your home with me? For that price tonight? <coughs> Say yes. Yeah, that, that makes the most sense. Right. Then all we need to do now is simply sign a contract so I can help you get what you want in the time you want. Won't that be great? <coughs> so, yeah. and I want you guys to pay attention to my tonalities, right? I say this all the time. So, and like number 13, I'm, my tonality is you don't want to do that, do you? Right? And I use that tonality. So, 
unless you're planning on adding more features and benefits to your home, are you? <laughs> and they're like, well, I'm leading them to a no. So, and then what was the other one? Um, and the other one is um, now uh, is, uh, number 5F. Now, you weren't planning on selling it yourself, were you? You know, I say that, <clears throat> and, and when I'm saying that, I'm actually shaking my head no, right? So when you shake your head yes, <clears throat> excuse me a second, I, I need to take a sip of water here. Ah, there we go. So I muted myself, cleared my throat, took some water. Here we go. We're back. So, um, you know, when when you shake your head yes, you cause yourself to have more confidence in what you're saying. When you shake your head no, you know, you're conveying to them that I don't have confidence in what I'm saying there. So which means you're conveying to them that no confidence there. Like, you know, you weren't planning on selling yourself, were you? So I'm conveying a real lack of confidence in their ability to sell it themselves. And then the same is with number 13. Um, I'm conveying a lack of confidence in, or, you know, my, you know, I'm convinced that they're not going to. <clears throat> and I'm conveying that to them. And then they pick up on the vibe. Now, if they're really going to add more features and benefits then, or have a discussion about it, you, you know, they'll bring it up. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. So, who wants to go first? No, I can go first. All right, go for it, Amy. <laughs> Let's bring your best. Let's bring energy. Uh, stand up if you can, if, you're, if your environment allows it. <clears throat> Hi, thanks again for having me over. I'm excited about getting your home on the market and getting it sold. Do you mind okay. if I ask you to take a quick look at your home? No, go ahead. Now, I wrote down three real important questions for you. Number one, do you absolutely have to sell your home? I do, yes. You do? Fantastic. Well, will you price your home to sell, or do you want to keep it on the market for a long period of time? No, we want to get it sold. Sold, great. Now, do you want me to handle the sell for you? Well, yeah, we like what you have to say so far. Okay, well, excellent. All we need to do now is just simply nope, sign nope. the contract. <clears throat> nope, we're not closing for the signature. Okay. So. Because <clears throat> remember, we're going to do the CMA presentation. The only reason why we're doing a CMA presentation is because um, we're not they have an, we're not affirmative on number three question, right? They know you. They okay. want to hire you. They will list at your price. The reason that uh, you're in a CMA is because we're not agreement on price. Okay, next page. <laughs> now, Rob, at the end of the presentation tonight, one of three things will happen. One, you'll have the opportunity to list your home with me. Or two, you'll decide not to list your home with me. Or three, I'll decide not to take your listing. And anyone is fine. Okay. Okay, so let's quickly take a moment and review the questions I asked you over the phone. You said you were moving to Phoenix, right? Yes, we're moving to Phoenix, yes. Okay, and you said you were moving because of a job transfer. Correct. And uh, you said that you had to be there in three months, correct? Correct, yep. Great. Okay, so you would like to price your home at 425000 correct? No, four, <laughs> yeah, <coughs> four, yeah, 425000 Okay. And you said you owe 100000 is that right? Yeah, about 100000 yeah. Okay. Now, you weren't planning on selling it yourself, were you? No. No? Okay, terrific. Um, you did want your cash out, correct? Yeah, we need to get our money out, yeah. Money out. Okay, wonderful. Now, there are only two issues we have. Oh, sorry. I'm reading off your screen. Number one, your motivation to sell this home. And number two, the price you set on your home. I've prepared what we call a comparative market analysis. 
Now, there are two parts to this research. One part, we call fantasy land, what homeowners list homes for. Part two, we call reality, what real estate agents list and sell homes for. We're going to have to decide tonight where you're going to spend your time. The purpose of the comparative market analysis is to determine the value of your home in the eyes of a buyer. Do you know how buyers determine value? Well, yeah, they, I mean, they shop around, I guess, right? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Buyers determine value by comparison shopping. They look at the price of your home based on its features and benefits compared to the features and benefits of similar homes that have sold recently or are currently on the market. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it does. Okay. All right. Well, for example, if we're going to purchase a new car and one dealership had that car for 50000 and another dealership had the same car for 45000 but it included oh. fancy wheels, upgraded audio system, which would be more valuable. Well, the one for less money and more benefit features, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, what if the first dealership put the car that didn't include the fancy wheels and upgrades on the auto system for sale for 45000 Which would be more valuable? Well, if they were both 45 and the one had more features and benefits, or, you know, more features <clears throat> well, than the one with more features, right? Right, the one that includes more. So you can see that if you want to increase value, you either, one, lower the price, or two, have more features and benefits for the same price. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Okay, great. So unless you're planning to add more features and benefits to your home, are you? Well, no. Okay, well, then you can see price is the only issue we need to decide. Can I show you what we mean? Sure. <coughs> okay. This home is just like yours. How many bedrooms? It's got four. How many bathrooms? It's got two and a half. Okay, and how many square feet? It's got, you know, 3,200. Yeah, mine's like 3,240. Okay. Now, do you know this neighborhood? Yeah, that house is actually around a corner. Okay, well, have you seen the house? Just from the outside. Just from the outside, okay. So, based on the features and benefits of your home, um, your house is... A little better so the, than this one. These are instructions. So, you know, yeah. if their house is better, if their house is it's similar, then you tell them this house is just like yours, this house is better than yours, your house is better, based on whatever it is. <clears throat> so we'll just we'll just go down to the next line. <clears throat> so uh, actually now what what Yeah, so when you're asking anybody to listen, what price are they asking? Look how long they've been on the market. <laughs> so that kind of needs to be lumped together so it's not broken up on pages, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so just go so, down to number know. 14. Okay. What price do you feel we should use to create value in the eyes of a buyer and get someone to decide to buy your home versus competition? Yeah, well, you know, we were thinking four and a quarter, but based on what you're showing us, I mean, 400 seems more right, huh? Yeah, four hundred is definitely closer in to to the price you want to be at. Okay. So I'm going to re recommend that you know we list your home for four hundred. Will you list your home with me for four hundred tonight? <coughs> yes, you got to have more conviction on that. <coughs> yeah, so well, I'm having a hard time reading your screen. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Now that you've seen these prices, I'm going to recommend a price of 400000 Do, Amy, list your home with me for that price tonight. Yeah. <laughs> also, pay attention to the positive. Yeah, and if you can, I mean, we have right. the script book. If you don't have a copy of the script book, please send me an email. I'll make sure everybody uh, – in fact, I'll just send out an email <laughs> to everybody and get it done. So, <laughs> anyway. So, all we need to do now is simply sign the contract. So I can help you get to Phoenix in the three months that you need to be there. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, just sign the contract. Okay. So who is viewer five? Is that you, Vonda? Sorry. Yes, that's me. 
Okay. <laughs> You're driving, right? Well, actually, I'm paused for a minute, so I, I got like eight minutes before I get back on the road. <laughs> okay. Do you want to run through it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing the one minute and the, th and the five minute, or the one minute and the CMA presentation. Now, at the end of the one minute, it says all we need to do now is simply sign the contract. <laughs> So we're not going to ask that question because the qualifying at the bottom that says only close for the six at the end of the one minute presentation, when you have qualified and know the following, they know you, they want to hire you, they will list at your price. So are you going to be reading from my screen or do you have a copy of the book? I don't have a copy of the book. I'm reading from the phone screen. <clears throat> okay. That's going to be challenging. Okay. We'll just do the best we can. So, uh, so go ahead and start. Hi, thanks again for having me over. I'm excited about getting your home on the market and getting it sold. Do you mind if I take a quick look around your home? No, go ahead. Okay, I wrote down three really important questions for you. Okay. Do you absolutely have to sell your home? Yeah, so go ahead and say number one. Do you, you know what I mean? Then number two, okay. use the words number, number one, one, two, and three. Yeah. <clears throat> number one, do you absolutely have to sell your home? I do, yeah. You do. Fantastic. Number two, will you price your home to sell or do you want to keep it on the market for a long period of time? Oh, well, we want to get it sold. Great. You want to get it sold. Number three, do you want me to handle the sell for you we do yeah i think we do i do so we skip to the next page <clears throat> so we're not going to close for the close remember the reason why we're doing a cma presentation is because we're not in agreement on the price so we only close for the signature when they 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 know you they want to hire you and they will list to your price the only reason we're doing a cma is because we're not in agreement on the price so now we go into the cma presentation now this will get a little challenging on a phone, I'm sure. Let's take let's quickly take a moment and review the questions I asked you over the phone. A, you said no. You skip four. <coughs> you skip section four. Oh. Okay. So Rob, at the end of the presentation tonight, one of three things will happen. One, you'll have the opportunity to list your home with me. Or two, you'll decide not to list your home with me. Or three, I'll decide not to take your listing. Anyone is fine. Okay. Let's quickly take a moment and review the questions I asked you over the phone. You said you were moving to California, right? Correct. I do not know these questions. But. And you said you're moving because you're starting a new, another job. Correct. You said you had to be there in 30 days, correct? Yes. And you would like to price your home at 450, right? Yes. You said you owe $150,000, is that right? Yeah, real close to that. Now, you weren't planning on selling it yourself, were you? Well, no. <clears throat> Terrific. And you did want your money out, correct? Yeah, we'd like to get our cash out of it. <clears throat> Let me scroll down for you. Wonderful. <clears throat> so, now, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. There are only two issues we have to look at tonight. Number one, your motivation to sell this home. And number two, the price we set on your home. I've prepared what we call a comparative market analysis. There are two parts to this research. Part one we call fantasy land. The homeowners list homes for. Part two, we call reality. What real estate agents list and sell homes for. 
we're going to have to decide tonight where you're going to spend your time. The purpose <coughs> of the car- comparable market analysis is to determine the value of your home in the eyes of a buyer. Do you know how buyers determine value? Well, yeah, I mean, they shop around, right? Right. Buyers determine value by comparison shopping. They look at the price of your home based on the features and benefits and compare it with the features and benefits of similar homes that have sold recently or are currently on the market. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. For example, if you were going to purchase a new car and one dealership had a car for $50,000 and another dealership had the same car for $45,000, but it included fancy wheels and an upgraded audio system, which would be more valuable? Well, the one for 45, it actually has more features, right? <clears throat> right. But if the first dealership put the car that did not include the fancy wheels and upgraded audio system on sale for $45,000, <clears throat> which would be more valuable? Well, the one that had for 45 did have more stuff. And why? Because? <clears throat> why well, I, I just said why. It has more <clears throat> so, stuff, right? Yeah. Right. So it has more stuff. So you can see that if you want to increase value, we either A lower the price or B have more features and benefits for the same price. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <clears throat> Good. So unless you're planning to add more features and benefits to your home, are you? No. No. Price is the only issue. Can I show you what I mean? Yeah, I'll go ahead and scroll the screen now. <clears throat> so, because you know, now we're only going to run through one of these. Don't worry about answering the ABC. <clears throat> so, but we're going to go ABC. We're going to go, I mean, don't answer this ABC. The, your house is better. <laughs> Just ask the questions, and then um, and then you got G, H, and I, too. <clears throat> so I'll try to get them all in there. <clears throat> so let's see if I can shrink it down one and see if it fits. Can you still see the screen well? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So skip the lower, the, the small a, the lowercase a, b, and c, and just go through a through i. Okay. <clears throat> this home is just like yours. How many bedrooms? Well, it's got four. Four bedrooms. How many baths? Two and a half. How many square feet? So it's got 3240. Do you know this neighborhood? Yeah, that house is actually around the corner. So have you seen this house? Well, I've driven by it. I've never been inside. Okay. Based on the features and benefits. No, skip that. That, Skip that part. Okay. So (laughs) what price are they asking? Well, they're asking um, four and a quarter. (laughs) Look how long it's been on the market. They've been on the market 45 days. And you need to be in California in 30 days, right? Yes. <clears throat> so now we'll just go. We won't go through any more co- comparable. We'll just keep. Now we'll just keep going to 14. <clears throat> so, what price do you feel we should use to create value in the eyes of the buyer <clears throat> and get someone to decide to buy your home versus the competition? Well. You know, I was thinking 450, but I mean, you got a house that's been on the market for 45 days for four and a quarter, that's just like ours. So maybe 410. Great. Now that you've seen these prices of 
410 is the recommended price that I would recommend to sell Stick your, to the script. You, <laughs> Stick to the script. Will you, Rob, list your home with me for that price tonight? Yes. Great. All we need to do now is simply sign the contract so I can help you get what you want in the time you want. Won't that be great? Yeah, that'd be great. Great. <coughs> all right, good job. I know you're <coughs> I know you're on a phone. We need to get all these books printed out. You guys need to print out a copy of the book. <coughs> so I'll make sure you have a copy uh, <coughs> today. In fact, within minutes, I'm gonna send it out to the office. So that way <coughs> that way um you know, you don't have to do it on the phone, Amy. You don't have to do it on my screen. Amy, you should have a copy of this from Productivity School. <clears throat> but I'll send you out the basic okay. script book, so there's nothing in it but the script book. Okay? <clears throat> well, good okay. job, guys. Thanks for showing up. Um, i got to get running. You guys have an awesome day. If any questions, give me a call. Okay. Bye. Bye.